This is a big overview how to use the Modbus ACS510, 550, and other VFDs and their family with Modbus Poland Lab. You watch it and you will see a lot of other little tricks that they won't tell you in the manual or they won't tell you in the uh, customer service part. Thanks. This is for the ACS 510, 550, ABB, VFD. Here are the fittings, I mean the settings. These settings are available through the front panel and uh, these are the most important ones. The thing will not work until you get these set. So 5302, pause the video and copy all these down. Some of them need to be, the 53 and the 10s need to be set in local and remote and make sure they exist in remote so that the thing will work. You have to power off and power on in order for it to work. As well have uh, pin uh, 10 to 13 jumped and um, the, the two grounds jump together. We'll show that letter. Check jumper in 10 to 13. Here are the communication values. Just study these. These are the raw values, and that should be it. Thanks. This is LabVIEW 2020 for the purpose of demonstrating an ABV uh, 750, um, ACS 750, ACS 550, all of those. We're going to initialize the serial port. We're going to close the serial port. We're going to use uh, liquid. We're going to turn it on for the first time, and we're using Modbus. All of these variables will become apparent. I'm going to run this in the debug mode. The debug mode will show you everything that's happening. Liquid demo not. We're setting the VFG drive to nothing. Initializing things. We are in the Modbus, so we're going to be in the Modbus side, and we are initializing the COM port 9600 and 81E. All of these are apparent from some of the settings that I'll show you on the other screen. So now the serial port is initialized. We're going to first set in frame zero. I think we're going to set clear the state machine at zero. So zero. We're sending a zero to that at um, uh, here. Now we're going to send at 1150 to zero. This says uh, enable enables it. And and we're sending these to, here's 1151, set to run. Here's the uh, function code six. There's two bytes. These are I uh, 16s. And then here's setting the value to the, to the VFD. So that sets whatever we're setting here. So uh, all these values now are false. So now we're going to run it the second time. And I'm going to show you uh, the screen running. We don't need to see this do it. It's all done. So now I'm going to click this, turn this, control E. Um, now we're going to look. I'm going to set something like 4096. We want to be looking at this value here. This is sending uh, address 1, function code uh, 6. We're sending a 1 to here. So I'm going to send uh, 4095-4095, which will set the frequency to here's 0FFF. And if I get a 4096, it'll be 100. So there's the, the 1000. So this sets the uh, frequency and the you can see here is setting clear one state machine. 1150, ready, 47E, 47F, they'll talk about that. This is the proper, uh, this will be done in any any machine. The machine over there is running, doing its thing, and here is coming back to zero. And that's it. This is uh, LabVIEW 2020. Here are the 5300 series, 5302, and uh, 9802, Modbus for sure, 9901, 9, 1001, 1002, 1103, all of these, this is for the 0 to 60 hertz. And this this sets the, uh, where's the, uh, this 0 to 100%. Not sure what all these are, but these are just what I gleaned from working with these folks. And that's it. Enjoy. Action. Disconnect. Okay, connection.
Here's how to communicate to the ABB, ACS 500, 510, 550. Connect to the thing using Modbus Pull. It's 2023. It's 9608, none one. And RTU, nothing else is checked. One, one second uh, delay. Once you have connection, you want to do setup read write functions slave id that's what you set up in the um in the 5302 section there and i'll show you the 53s and we're going to display 12 elements uh in register zero which is 40,000, and uh do not use plc and so we're going to show 10 rows. So notice this setting. This, we're reading register 4x. That, that prepends 40,000 in front of this zero. So we're going to click start. I'm going to send 1151.1151. Uh, this will tell it I'm uh, ready to do it. This is where I'm going to set the frequency um, 5,000. Is uh, It's... Uh, percentage of um, uh, 20,000, the 20,000, uh, that those variables are set in uh, 10, 1100 series. And I'll show you these uh, uh, in a little bit, where, what those are. You can read any one of the sets. So if I want to read the 5300 series, it's, it's setting that frequency there, so it's already done. So let's go to 5300, uh, 5300, and in the 5300s, we can read 12 elements. Um, and this, by the way, is display. It is signed I-16. That will tell you what it is. So here are the variables for 53, 53, oh, one, this is 5301, and 5302 is set to 1. Here's where the 9.6K is in 2, but it's shifted by 1. So this is 5303, so it says 2. This 0 means, uh, I think it means a one stop bit, or 9600 and 81. And so here's how you could read the parameters living in in the setup 5300. So now we're going to look at the setup of 1100. Uh, 1100 is where you set up your Modbus. So 1100 and 1100 can only take two elements set up. Uh, we're, we can only read two. If you read too many, you get this data, invalid data. There we go. So 1101 is a 1, which means uh, field bus, Modbus RTU. This is where it receives instructions. And 4 is 0. And I'm going to pause. Here's 9900. Uh, we, we got a 1 and a 2. And uh, you can look in the register to see what these mean. That's enough to get it going. Uh, you want to make sure that 1600 has no interlock, like a smoke alarm or such things like that. So we'll look at the 1600s. 1600, smoke alarm can be uh, meaning you are turning on, uh, turn off the BFD if there's smoke. So 16, 1601. Um, Let's look at 1608. I'm gonna. It'll be 1609. So we'll read uh, seven of them. And 16. I gotta read more. One more. Eight of them. Eight of them. 1608 should be set to zero. This is 1608 here. And uh, that should be good enough. Now I'm going to go back to set the uh, frequency. It uh, starts at zero. You'll only need a few registers. Uh, you can read 12 of them. Not sure what all these other ones do, but I'm going to set this to zero. That'll turn it off. 
turn off the DFD drive and I can probably put a video in there. I can hear it turning off. And 1151, this, this, is, this is one and this is two. So go figure. In this configuration, I'm using uh, pins uh, 11 shorted to 12. That green brings the digital ground to the analog ground if you want to use it for zero to 10 volts DC. And I also have pin 10, which is 24 volts, jump to 13, which is DI1, which is a forced run, which I think requires um, that 1002 be set to 1. And my 1002, let's look at 1002, set up, read, write, uh, 10. One zero 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 and ten o two. We can only look at two before getting in that. Ten o two is zero. So um, not quite sure how that works, but uh, this is my fiddling around. The documentation is not real clean. That should do it. And here's the communication traffic. You can see it's uh, address one, function code three, and so we got a TX and an RX, and these are the uh, CRCs. So I'm going to set this to 10,000 or 5,000. So we'll see that 5,000 be sent. You can pause the video and see what the goodies are, and you'll see how it's it set it to 15 hertz. And now I'm going to set it to uh, uh, zero and turn it off. Here's what zero looks like. Some tricks to know if you change parameters in 53 and 98, you need to cycle the power of the uh, ACS 550, 510, whatever you're using. 